sitting on the edge of my chair in the airplane, as I looked out the window, I saw vast layers of mountains stretching across the beautiful land of China. It was breathtaking. The sunset painted the sky with variegated yellow and pink, while the last touch of sunshine gleamed through the window. The wave of emotions that overtook me was remarkable. I had mixed emotions of joy, sadness, and longing. Being abroad wasn't what I exactly envisioned in mind. I had a romanticized vision of going on expeditions and finding incredible discoveries. But to actually live it and experience the full impact of it all became a story of its own. Everything was so different here. The streets of Beijing were filled with buzzing cars. The food stalls on the sidewalk were embellished with a variety of foods beyond my imagination. From delicious freshly made steamed buns to scorpion and starfish shish kebabs, it was unbelievable. But the honeymoon phase slowly faded as I shifted into my third week. The excitements of touring historical sites and using public transportation deviated into exhaustion. Immersing into another culture was a lot tougher than I imagined. As an Asian American traveling in China, it was difficult paying for groceries without being mistaken as Chinese, resulting into the realization that one semester of Chinese wasn't going to get me very far. This identity dilemma, along with a change of environment, was straining. Even though I was living in the dorms, I began to isolate myself from others and preferred to stay in while my peers were out enjoying the many joys that Beijing had to offer. My professor noticed the changes in me and decided to take me out for lunch at a restaurant nearby. As we sat down on the table, my professor instantly opened up and shared that he too felt drained and isolated when he first arrived in China. But he did not let that stop him from making the most out of his experience. He came to China intending for a short stay but his stay stretched into 20 years as he slowly grew fond of their language and culture. He advised for me to keep an open heart and mind. His words truly struck me. I took his advice and it turned my study abroad experience around. A month later, I found myself genuinely enjoying my time in China. I moved out of the dorms and went to live with an amazing host family who always greeted me with warm smiles. Wonderful memories of laughter, delicious meals, and lessons were shared with my family. I also started teaching English as a volunteer at Beijing School for the Blind. It was truly an uplifting and empowering experience. The students were always filled with positive energy and there was never a dull moment. I was able to teach the students English, but the amount of knowledge and inspiration that I have received from my students were innumerable. Moreover, I got the opportunity to travel to a male village in Guizhou and lived with a the family there for four days. During my stay in Guizhou, I taught English to primary students, visited my host family's rice paddy, participated in the festive welcoming ceremony, ate delicious and spicy meals, and bonded with the community through the boisterous gatherings filled with rice wine and laughters. I would have to say that my short stay in Guizhou was indeed phenomenal. Seeing the villagers lead simple lives with limited means, yet were genuinely content with what they had, has taught me how to be grateful towards the wonderful people and opportunities I have in my life.
as I head back to the buzzing city of Beijing. I have grown so much from the experience, built meaningful relationships with the people of China, and created many long-lasting memories. It was quite fascinating to sit in the same position as I'm flying back to America, yet leaving as a changed person. As I reflect back on my journey, envisioning who I once was and who I have become, it's amazing to see how much impact one lunch have made on my study abroad experience. <laughs>